I get a lot of questions about how I set up my face cam with rounded edges on my stream whenever I'm showing my screen or gameplay. And it's actually very easy. And you can also apply this effect to any layer in your stream. So don't limit it to face cam. You can get creative with it. So here's how you do it. First, you're gonna download some free mats or masks as some people call them, they're, they're the same thing. You can download free ones from the website nerdordie.com, link is down below to some free downloads. Uh, you can pay if you want to support the creator, but just go ahead and put zero in if you want it for free and go ahead and download that. This download pack includes a lot of options, so you have some wiggle room for creativity and you can have more than just your face cam having this effect. Okay, so here's how you set it up in OBS. Right click on your desired source and go to filters. Now remember that if you apply this filter to the source in OBS, assuming that this is copied in other scenes, it's going to apply the same filter to all the other layers in your other scenes in OBS. So if you have the same webcam in a few scenes but only want to apply it to this one in this scene, here's how you do that. Right click in your sources box or click the plus icon so you can create a new group. Now drag and drop that source onto the group you just created. Now right click on the group and go to filters. Click the plus button and choose to create an image mask slash blend. Now you can choose your mask with the browse button and locate it on your computer. Once you've selected the one you like, you can just close this window. Nice little trick is if you have a stream deck or if you just wanna hide the source in OBS sometimes, like I have for my keyboard cam, here's how you can make it show and hide in a more interesting way than just turning it on and off. Right click on your source and go to show transition and you can choose to either have a stinger transition or some of the other basic transitions. If you want to be able to reveal it with a matte stinger transition like I do in my tutorials, I have a bunch of matte transitions on the website, link is down below. You can get some of those for free. Once you've chosen a show transition option, now when you show that source, it'll show up with that transition. Same thing happens when you right click that source and go to hide transition. When that source becomes hidden, you can go ahead and use another transition. So it's very easy, looks nice, and it's not just basic cutting on and off. So pretty easy. The community has been telling me they've been enjoying the short to the point content, and I agree. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, that'd be appreciated to help the video out. And if you are new and interested in more content similar to this, I've tailored to content creators and streamers and just how to build your brand in general, or just a lot of really cool uh, streaming builds or a gear for your content creation, stick around and subscribe. I'll see you next time, but until then, make something great. Hello? Okay. Okay. Yo, every time I lift up my arms, why is it freezing? The camera... Oh my gosh, every time I lift up my arms, dude! What is going on? Oh my word! Stop! Okay, is it freezing? Okay, we're not... We're not frozen. Okay. Hands up! Yo, stop! Stop it! Bro, stop freezing! <laughs> Great YouTube video! <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, this is what happens. Discord broke my computer. They, they wanted me to partner so bad they broke my computer. Hey, okay. We're partnered with Discord. Woo! Yes, let's do it. We're getting partnered. We're applying for partnership. We're not partnered yet, but we're getting partnered. Nice. Okay, we're still... We're Okay, you got... That's stupid.